So what's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. BOA. You know, one of the greatest travesties that we face as men is believing that every woman is a queen and every woman should be treated a certain way, whether she earns it or not. And especially in modern society, men and women alike tend to perpetuate the idea that everyone deserves respect from the moment you meet them. And what it does, it puts a lot of men in situations where they are treating a woman like a queen who is a known peasant, an accepted peasant, a peasant by choice. And these men never get the full benefit of being the type of man that they are to these types of women. And it leaves men in a situation where they're all heartbroken and butt hurt and they feel terrible and they think all women are bad because they have been taught that bad women should be treated good. Somebody sent me a story on IG. Well, this guy was in the mall shopping for his bra. And lo and behold, here she comes walking in with another dude. Now, of course, if you're in the mall doing random shopping for your bra, you love her. Because a man who's not in love doesn't just go in the mall and buy his woman random gifts. Men don't buy gifts to show appreciation. Men buy gifts to express love. Now, I want you men to understand this. What we're going to see in this video is quite disturbing and you see a man running through the gamut of emotions and finally the pain gets the best of it. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, editing this short clip was a burden, but I did it the best I could. Hopefully the monetization gods won't tear it down. But let's take a look at this video and we'll come back and chop it up on a real tip. I'm here trying to buy your ass some shit. I catch you walking in the mall with another bitch. You just cheating on me. You got bad because I want to know your booty. I'm trying to tell you. Now, what we see is a man who felt like he had a good girl. Felt like he had a trustworthy girl. Obviously, if you catch a woman with another man and you get this angry and you accuse her of cheating on you, it's because you thought you were in a committed relationship with a woman. But here's the thing. Look at how she responded when he asked her. So you've been dealing with other men? So you've been talking to other men? She said, yeah. Yeah, I have. Openly, honestly, but with angst, with the intent of causing this man more emotional turmoil. I tell you men all the time, once you let a woman know that she can emotionally destroy you, she will emotionally destroy you. Once you let a woman know you are weak for her, she will test the boundaries of your weakness for her. Once you let a woman know that you will take anything from her, she will certainly try to see how much everything means and what exactly you will take from her. So you put yourself in a situation where you're trying to buy a woman's affection and love because obviously this woman doesn't respect this guy. So why is he even in the mall buying things for her anyway? This woman doesn't deserve that. This woman obviously doesn't deserve that because why he's out Buying her things at the mall, I can bet you your bottom dollar. She was probably out at the mall buying his other guy stuff or else just walking around in the mall with him holding hands on some lovey-dovey stuff. But here's the problem. How can anyone have someone at home believing that they're in a committed relationship with them and be out in public at a place where they might run into this person as she did while you're out with someone else? 
you guys have to understand that if a woman is disrespecting you behind closed doors, she is going to be with a man who she can respect. Women want to respect you. Women can only respond in a feminine, submissive manner to a man that they absolutely respect. And so if your woman doesn't respect you, if you are dealing with things like this, if all the telltale signs are there, don't overlook them. Because understanding what a woman's true intentions are with you, understand what a woman's true motives are with you, is one of the most important things that a man could do when it comes to dealing with women in or out of relationships. You don't have to be in a relationship to draw the angst of a conniving woman. Many men have been set up by set up chicks who meet them at the club, let them wind them and down them, hang out with them, may even be intimate with them, all for the purpose of setting them up for some other guys to rob them. This is the equivalent of that energy. This woman was, I couldn't see in the car. This woman probably was still in the car with the dude he caught her at the mall with. Can you imagine you thinking you have a woman? You're in the mall doing something nice for this woman you think you have. You feel you have. And she's walking out with another dude. Nonchalant like she doesn't even care. Like she doesn't even expect you to say anything. And then it causes you to go into this emotional rant to where you're calling a woman everything but a child of God. Let me tell you something. If a woman can push you that far into your emotions, man, the woman is controlling you. You are being controlled by the emotions that you have for that woman. And here's the thing. The woman controls the emotional interaction. So you're being controlled and manipulated by this woman with her words and actions. A man should never have to deal with something like this. A man should never put himself in a situation to be dealt with in this manner. This woman was totally disrespectful. And a lot of you men are in situations like this now. You know the woman you with don't respect you. You know the woman you with ain't got no love for you. You know the woman you with don't revere you. You know the woman you with don't even want to see you win. And you still with her. But why? Why are you with the woman who don't mean you no good, homie? Now, don't look at me, ask yourself. Look in the mirror, ask yourself. Why am I with this woman that don't mean me no good? I ain't trying to bring no good to my life. I ain't trying to bring no positivity to my life. I ain't trying to benefit my life in no kind of way. All she does is take, take, take and never give a thing. You want to end up like this guy? Emotionally distraught in public to the point where you just start cursing a woman out in an emotional rant that was downright embarrassing. It's embarrassing for a man to behave this way in public especially over a woman who doesn't want you. You may got to stop believing that you can make a woman want you. You can't. Whatever he was finna buy in the mall was not going to make that woman want him. Whatever he was finna buy in the mall wasn't going to make that woman stop cheating on him. Whatever he was finna buy in the mall wasn't going to make that woman respect him. You can't buy love and respect. You can't even buy intimacy. Know what you can buy? You can buy sex. And the bottom line is, the way this interaction is, I can almost guarantee that dude ain't getting much of that from this bro. When a woman doesn't respect you and you continue to accept that disrespect, she disrespects you even more. The more you accept, the more she disrespects. Until it just gets to the point where she's doing something like this. Walking around with another dude, you see her and the dude, she keep on moving like it ain't nothing. Because she don't care about losing you. And I tell you men all the time, what's the, one of the most important things you can ever teach a woman is how life feels without you in it. Let's not allow ourselves to be caught up. Let's not allow ourselves to be caught up in pleasing these women. Pleasing them for what? Pleasing them how? Who are they that they should be pleased? Who are they that they should be pleased? The reality of the scenario is this, man. Our lives are based on what we can make of it. And every time you deal with a woman in this capacity where the woman is draining your energy and not giving you anything in return, you are losing your ability to build your own life. You can't build a life with a woman who's trife. Because all she's going to cause is a bunch of emotional strife. And you can't stand to deal with that. I can't stand to deal with that. None of you men can stand to deal with that. So don't deal with it. Let a woman know that she must earn what you give. And when it comes to keeping you satisfied, she better show up and show out. And if you don't have a woman who's willing to go along with that in your life, you're going to end up like this guy.
if you already aren't like this guy and just don't know it. Many of you men are overlooking the signs that your woman is being active with someone else. Why? Because you're stuck. That Jezebel spirit has you stuck. Avoid the Jezebel. Because I promise you, when that thing jump on your back, homie, it's going to be hella hard to get it off. It's like a monkey on your back. It's like a heroin monkey on your back. Ex heroin addict about that, man. It's like a monkey on your back that you can't shake. It's a gorilla, homie. And all you got to do is make sure to avoid that, that you stay in a position of power with women. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. And furthermore, never let a woman see you sweat. If you, even if you catch your woman in this act right here, you act like you don't even see her. Just ignore her. Get to the crib. Either pack your stuff up and move it out or box her stuff up and put it out. But the dead woman starts to cross that particular line of blatant disrespect. You've already let it go too far. So you got to reel it back in. Or you got to let it take a ride around the bend. I say let it take a ride. Because if a woman respects you and reveres you, she's going to do everything she has to do. Just show you that she's going to ride. Till the wheels fall off. And if you ain't got that in your life, you ain't got no girlfriend, you ain't got no wife, all you guys are little user chick that's full of strife. Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you may have to say. I'm out. Trying to become the most alpha version of you. Trying to become the most alpha version of you. Striving to become the most alpha version of you. Fighting to become the most alpha version of you. Welcome to the alpha sphere. Get money division. The place where you transform into a man on a mission.